Today we make movies no one asked for. Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. I'm Matt. This is Emily. Hi. You've probably seen us on the show before, but today Rhett and Link are letting us host it. Yeah. <laughs> if after today you need more, Emily, I've got a show on Mythical Society. It's called That Ask Though. All of my bad choices are probably uh, related to boys and church. Yeah. <laughs> church? I want to elaborate on the church part. Um, a lot of my first, a lot of my of firsts were in a church. No, oh. <laughs> you haven't seen it. Go check it out. But after this is over, this video, and you can check me out there as well on my show, Royalty Freestyle. There's a lot of traffic on the way over. Traffic. But if you keep me around. I'll make my job lower, Lee. Lower job. You don't believe my lie, but you think I'm a liar. Mm. Believe that I had a flat tire. Oh, right. So today we figured it's the height of summer. The heat is beating you down. You've got to be in search of a dark room with the AC blasting so you can just sit there for two hours. Mm. What better place to do that? than a movie theater. So today, we're gonna be creating some unforgettable summer blockbuster moments right before your eyes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's time for Random Summer Blockbuster Challenge. Here we have two popcorn buckets. Mm -hmm. And in one of them are movie titles of blockbuster movies that do not exist. But totally should. Yeah. And then in the other will be names of random characters that yeah. have been created for us. We'll and choose one from each. Right. And, and then we get 30 seconds to embody that character and deliver the big plot defining monologue from that film. And it's your job, Mythical Beast, to let us know in the comment section who you think won. And Emily, since your hair is longer, uh -huh. you go first. Okay. It's because I'm scared. Okay. Oh boy. Teacher's Pet Cemetery. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about the remake, by oh, the way. Oh, yes. Um, Don't go down that rod. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> All right. And my character is Felicia Forecast, a weather person who hates her job. Mm. This is fun. Hey, you do it. All right. I'm very excited for you. Thank you. You're going to do great. Thanks, Feed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Emily, are you ready? Yes. Okay, and go. Hi, I'm Felicia Forecast, reporting live wherever again, instead of in studio. Uh, we have reports there are mobs of children eating adults outside of this elementary school. Oh, there, there they are. Maybe I can get a little uh, interview. Nope. Oh, boy. I feel like this is the end. It's, I hate this job, I've always hated it. I'm better than you, Ken, and you know it. Back to you, Ken. And time. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Come back over here. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. I really love, uh, you know, how you talked about the children eating people. It made, yeah. me, it made me, number one, want to see the movie. Number two, hungry. Hungry? Yeah. That made you hungry? I just haven't eaten in a while. It didn't give you any um, like thoughts about inequality in the workplace at all? No, 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 no. Just hunger. That's how I felt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hungry for adults. Hungry for adults. Mm. Well, I think it's your turn now. Okay, let's do this. Alrighty. So, for the title, it is The Girl with the Dragging Canoe. <laughs> uh oh. All right. That's appropriate subject matter. And character is Dude Man Guy, the chillest dude on the beach. Wow. All right. Okay. I'm excited for I'm this. I'm excited too. All right, man. Yeah. <laughs> Rock and you are looking chill AF. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Take it away. Hello, ma'am. My name is Dude Man Guy, uh, Detective Man Guy of the Oslo PD to you. And uh, I saw that you were a witness as to seeing the girl with the dragon canoe, all right? So first of all, 
I don't like to get out of bed early in the morning, especially not for a call about a missing persons, let alone on the beach, because it's like my favorite spot, all right? So you're gonna have to tell me right now, where's the last time you see her, and also did you kill her? Because if you did, you have to tell me, I'm the law. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Thank you. If you did, you have to tell me. <laughs> or else it's entrapment. Or else it's like you lied. <laughs> it's reverse entrapment. I really, I love that my character just was holding this the whole time. I know, you were drinking off the job. Yeah, well, you know, I'm really chill. That's the thing about me. I'm like the chillest dude. It's chill. Being an alcoholic is chill. Yeah, it's a good time. Um, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it again. All right. Let's see. Okay. So I've got... Oh, can you pronounce? My, is it Milos? Or Milos Glubernuk and the Asparagus Factory. Mm. Yikes. That sounds smelly. It does. And. Your character? Titanius, Masher of Skulls. Nice. So wait, the, <laughs> the movie title is Milos Glubernuk. And the asparagus factory. I think factory. it's a play on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. No. Is what I'm going with. Can't be. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's do it. I'm excited for this. <laughs> All right. Ready when you are, Emily. All right. Let's go. And go. Hello, Milos. Welcome to my asparagus factory. You found a golden ticket, and I'm here to crush skulls and eat asparagus, and you eat all my asparagus, so you know what it's time for. I wanted to use the asparagus, but I already said it was all gone. Dang. <laughs> Dang. And time. Oh, boy. OK. <laughs> It felt great. <laughs> that was incredible. I really, I felt the anger in, in Milos, you know, and... Uh, well, I wasn't Milos, I was Titanius. Oh, that's right. I was talking to Milos, she ate all the asparagus. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a very, very confusing movie. Smell it. Ooh, smells like urine. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, well, I guess it's time for... It's my turn. It's your turn again. Uh, all right, and, <laughs> and the movie is... Uh, Personal Space Invaders. I know a lot about that life. Oh. And let's see. Mm -mm -mm. My character's old Wesley, the creepy <laughs> neighbor who warns of impending doom. All right, I can pull this off. <laughs> I, yeah. And I'm going to do it in my shorts. I don't care. Okay, I think that's definitely nailing it. All right. All right, Matt. I'm keeping the shorts. Good for you. I'm ready. You ready? Uh-huh. And action. I've seen this kind of thing before, neighbors. It was about 1963. A loud bang, a loud flash of light. A little green man walking single file down a little road. They come at you with a weird, weird motivation. You're sitting in a movie theater, for example. It's empty, thousands of seats everywhere, and they sit right next to you. Why would you do that? I don't even sit next to my best friend. They're personal space invaders, if you ask me. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right. If you ask me. <laughs> I'm creepy. I like how he started out like kind of like old Greg and then turned into a southern guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, I never said I was good at action. You know? <laughs> no, it was but good. Not in my job description. It was very good. Mm. I wonder what this book is. It's Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. Not a sponsor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> your turn. All right. Okay. <sighs> big money, big money, big money. <laughs> The 40-year-old Virginian. Yes. Love the puns. This is a pun-heavy episode. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I'm and my character is Franny the Granny. <laughs> she hates loud music but loves coupons. That makes sense. This is my future. Uh, yeah, this is <laughs> my this grandma. This is a fortune cookie for yeah. me. Not... All right, here we go. I believe in you. Thank you. I do. You look amazing. Thank you. Are you ready to do this? I am. Okay, <laughs> and go. 
Hello, neighbor, your music is too loud, but my goodness, you're tall. <laughs> you want to come over and help me scissor some coupons? <laughs> By the way, this is a back massage. <laughs> it has many settings. See if I can get it to work. That one helps my arthritis. See, I can't get it turned up. Oh. Time! <laughs> Incredible. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is not a back massage. <laughs> it is. Is it? As advertised, it mm -hmm. is. What else would it be? Uh, I've got a, I've got some of the best yeah, 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 yeah. props of the whole day, I think. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep. Those are uh, both clearly used as intended. Are we ready? Yes. For my round. Okay. No, you got to turn it off. <laughs> oh. I got it. It's good. My mom has one of those. Too uh, much information, Matt. Or the perfect <laughs> amount. Uh, <laughs> Um, all right, my title is Cardigans of the Galaxy, perfect. which is perfect. Uh, okay, and my character's name is John Johnny Fingers, who just <laughs> accidentally killed his father. <laughs> Why uh, is it Fingers? I have no idea. All right. <laughs> he killed him with his fingers. All right, Mr. Fingers. Johnny Fingers. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, action. All right, Dad, just a little further back, I'm gonna shoot this apple right off your head, okay? Dad, uh, uh, Dad, if I do not do this, I'm never gonna get good at shooting. I'll never be a hero. And forever, Johnny Fingers will be known as the guy who peed himself at summer camp, okay? So just a little further back. All right, all right, hold steady. <laughs> Hey, we did it! I'm, I'm really good at shooting, I told you. Okay, go even more further back. I shoot it again. This time, hold it at your heart. Hold it at your heart level. <laughs> Ready, Dad? All right. You're fine again. Now go back a little bit more. Oh, no, you fell off the cliff. <laughs> and see. Wow. You wore shorts to murder your father? Listen, uh, at this point, I'm just gonna wear everything that you give me. I'm just gonna let it build up. Yeah, that's a good choice. I'm Johnny Fingers. <laughs> let us know in the comments who you think delivered a better summer blockbuster monologue. Yeah, and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Cameron. And we just watched Endgame. And it's time to spin the wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. Very cool. I saw Endgame too. I thought it was great. I have not seen it yet. <laughs> All right, click the top link to watch us guess the terrible action movie line in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Dude. Check out these far out swirly colors on our summer tie-dye tees. Available now at mythical.store.